Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to have a look at part 2 of chapter 7 from the book My System by Aram Ninsovich. So chapter 7 talks about pins in general. So the first part we obviously had a look from a tactical perspective. Now we are going to have a look at positional perspective. We are going to have a look at two positions in this video. Now the first position talks mainly about the character and dangers involved in unpinning. So when you are pinned, you obviously have the choice of either unpinning or you sim simply ignore the pin. So the first one is we are going to have a look at the character and dangers involved in unpinning. So again, we start off with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6. It's a very popular opening. Knight c3, knight f6, d3, and after d6, we obviously pay bishop g5, uh, pinning the knight to the queen. Here, uh, black is going to unpin by playing h6. So what are the dangers involved? Here, obviously, the bishop h4 can be played, and after g5, bishop g3 is played. Now, the author makes a very important point. This bishop here, after it's unpinned, and if... Um, the opponent has a very good center, this bishop becomes pretty much useless. So uh, to you simply have to activate this bishop and the whole purpose of that is white has to simply open up the center. There are two ways white can open up the center. One is of course bring the bishop to b5 and uh, pin this knight to the king and pretty much open up the center that way. So that is one way of doing it. Black obviously in this instance uh, doesn't want white to do that. So then obviously white has to use the other option, which is to play knight d5 after the uh, bishop moves to e6, c3. And we know now what uh, white's plan is. Simply open up the center. After bishop takes d5, e takes d5, we have knight e7. And now both knights are attacking the same pawn. Here d4 is played. And e takes d4, knight takes d4, and as we mentioned before, here the knight takes the d5 pawn, and white is actually a pawn down. However, because of this series of moves, white ha has partially opened up black center, and white is in a very good position after uh, uh, castling. And he, as we can see, both bishops have very good scope at the moment. And even though white is a pawn down, uh, the engines favor white because positionally white is in a very good position. Now we go back to this here. Uh, instead of a6, black can instead of playing a6, they can simply play another uh, counter pin by simply playing bishop g4. Here we are going to have a look at what are the dangers white will face by unpinning h4 and after knight h5. Uh, h takes g5, knight takes g3, after f takes g3 we have knight d5, as you can see now the pin is very strong, the rook takes on h6, rook takes on h6 and now white creates a uh, pass pawn, even though it's not a strong pass pawn anyways, black need not to worry about it, after bishop takes g3, uh, g takes f3, we have uh, queen g5. And as you can see, even though white is up two pawns, black has a very good advantage. Actually, the engine gives uh, minus four for black in favor of black. So as you can see, um, there are dangers of uh, unpinning. And the, one of the most important danger is that uh, um, the center can be pretty much opened up or your um, king side can be uh, vulnerable because of unpinning. Now the first part or the first position we had a look at dangers involved in unpinning. The second part in this part we are going to have a look at what are the dangers if we ignore the pin. So uh, we are going to go back to the same position. After knight f6, d3, d6, bishop g5, d, g5. That was the position we looked at. Obviously in the previous position a6 was played to unpin. Uh, here obviously black simply ignores they play uh, castling. If they do so, then we have knight d5. Please note that the bishop is 
uh, the bishop on c5 is out of the pawn chain which means they can't come back to unpin so bishop e6 is played here knight takes f6 g takes f6 and bishop h6 so what is the disadvantage of ignoring a pin the disadvantage is you your pawn structure will be disrupted now again this is not the end of the world rook e8 after knight h4 king h8 and this is not the end of the world but uh, black still has counter chances but the only disadvantage of ignoring a pin is that you will be having uh, double pawns or sometimes triple pawns. Is that something that you are willing to play with? It's up to you. So I hope you enjoy this video. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe and it's bye for now.